Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well out there. Um, today I'd like to talk to you about a, a bit of a problem I've been having in my sim racing life recently. Um, things have been getting a little bit sideways. Uh, I guess it sort of started just after Christmas time really. I'm not quite sure what set it off. Um, and uh, before I go any further, I'd like to say that some of the footage included in this video uh, is a bit rough, because it, 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 especially in terms of sound, because it was never meant to be, well, it, it wasn't recorded for the for video purposes. But anyway, um, uh, I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you've suffered from a similar problem in your sim racing lives. So um, if you find this, that you can relate to this, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment about your story. So, uh, I, I suppose it all started really, you know, quite, quite naturally, quite normally, I suppose. I was in a set of course one day and I was uh, looking around and I decided to have a look at the drift track and uh, I went to the drift track in a set of course or in the uh, BMW M3 drift car and uh, I naturally decided to have a little drift, you know, it's just purpose built for it, why not, you know. And at first, you know, I, I couldn't quite get the circle right. I was struggling a bit, but then, I don't know, I started getting, you know, like a taste for it. Do you know what I mean? And um, I started getting more and more sideways, more and more lock. And, um, you know, before I knew it, I was just sideways for ages. Anyway, um, you know, that's that's fair enough. But then it sort of started spilling over into other things. Um, one day I was in um, Orton Ballista 2 uh, at Suzuka, and uh, I was, uh, or Kanzai, if you like, and I was in the, uh, the Camaro uh, muscle car, you know, rear-wheel drive muscle car. I thought, oh, you know, it's a rear-wheel drive muscle car. You know, why wouldn't you want to just see if you can get it sideways? And before I knew it, I was going around in circles and then wanting more lock, more angle and I just kept going. Anyway, you know, I, things started getting a little bit weird when I decided that, you know, maybe I'd, uh, I'd, I, I, I was at Kansai again and in AMS2 and, and for some reason the idea took me to, 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 to try it in a, in a mid-engine supercar, the Corvette, and uh, before you knew it, I'm going round one way. Then I'm going round the other way. And yeah, um, I suppose really I should have realised that something was going on when I, I decided to try it in a hypercar. You know, it's a ridiculous thing to do, but all of a sudden I'm in, I'm in the McLaren and I'm going sideways again. Round and round, and and then and then uh, uh, and then I tried another hypercar, and it, it, the Brabham, just totally not designed for this sort of silliness. Anyway, um, alarm bells really started going off when um, I was in a friend's online server. Um, uh, a guy called Metz VR, look him up on YouTube. Um, runs like I do, runs some great community races and servers. And I was in his server in 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 a set of course of composition GT3 cars for God's sakes. And I couldn't help myself. I asked him, you know, would you mind if I went for a drift? He said yes. 
before you knew it, we're in qualifying and, well, this started happening. <laughs> look, at the, look at the boy drifting. <laughs> it's just it's so light, it's not even funny. You know, and then it happened again. It just... <laughs> Look at the boy go! He's loving life, isn't he? Look. Absolutely loving life. And that was all very well and good, but then, you know, we, we, we got into a race. And somehow I managed to get in front. And it started happening in the race as well. <laughs> look at him showing off, look. Drifting it around the corner. Love it. <laughs> I'm, I've got to admit, it does look so cool though, doesn't it? Look. You know, and I thought, I've got a real problem here, to the point where in the next qualifying session, I'm, I'm pretty sure I spoiled one of his qualifying laps as well, you know, because I just couldn't stop drifting. Sorry about that, by the way, mate. Uh, but do look up Matt's VR on YouTube. Uh, great community servers. Anyway, at this point, I thought, you know, th this is really becoming a problem. It's got to stop, so I tried to calm down. But then, oh, I don't know, I was on some forum somewhere, and I was reading about that it, 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 it wasn't good to drift in iRacing or, you know, you shouldn't try and drift in iRacing because the something to do with the tire model not liking it or whatever. And, and, and that was it. That was all it took. <laughs> you know, and before you knew it, I'm going sideways in a blue Mazda in iRacing. You know, that thing hasn't even got very much power to get the back end out on those racing slicks, but I just couldn't help myself. started moving on to harder stuff I took out the rough Porsche and uh, the rear wheel drive version and you know I thought well this is a an unruly car to keep in a straight line and and yeah once again I'm I'm, I'm sitting there you know I, I'm drifting around and then I'm sitting there watching the drifts back and talking to myself like a crazy person you know at this point, I really knew that there was something wrong. Happy with that. Happy with that. That was okay. Lifting that front inside. All right. kind of all right as well so look folks anyway 
I'm trying to get back on the straight and narrow. You know, I've been speaking to friends. Um, if you've had this problem where, you know, drifting's got in the way of your racing, uh, like I said, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you've had a similar experience. And uh, all I can say is I, I hope to be back on the straight and narrow and racing with you properly very soon. Cheers for watching. All the best. If you want this channel to subscribe, do me a favor and hit subscribe. May seem like a small thing to do, but it enables me to make more videos for you. By hitting that button, you can help us subscribe. Subscribe and keep this channel alive. Don't cost nothing, don't take no time. Come on now, keep this channel alive.